What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix developer, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a multilingual website using Wix.com. That's right, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a website that has multiple languages, allowing the user to switch from English to the desired language. Uh, so without further delay, honestly, let's go ahead and get right into it. First, you obviously need a Wix.com website, so go to Wix, make sure you have an account, uh, and go into your website dashboard. You know you're in the right area if it says welcome back and then your name. What we need to do to get started with Wix languages is go ahead and click on the edit button at the top right hand corner. Some of you might have quick actions at the bottom left. Regardless, let's go ahead and hover over quick access and click on edit. So once you click on edit, it's going to open up your editor uh, for the very first time as you can see here. Now, if at any point you'd like to personally work with me uh, in regards to your project, you can definitely consider reaching out using the Wix.com marketplace. I am available for hire under Alan Bajo. So what I decided to do here is actually just load up a blank canvas. You most likely will see your website here, but I did really want to start it from scratch here so I can really show you step by step how to exactly add this to your website. So let's go ahead and do the following. At the top right hand corner, click on search. And let's just go ahead and type in the word language right in this little drop down. From here, the first option is language menus. So let's go ahead and click on language menus. And let's go ahead and simply drop one of these little language toggles right either in the middle of the screen or within the header. Most of you, for, for most projects, I recommend that it, becomes in the, it stays in the header only because that's where users are going to navigate. Like all Wix elements, you have the toggle allowing you to design how this looks. You have the layout option allowing you to have options such as showing the flag or having the full name or just showing the flag by itself. Regardless, um, I like to go ahead and just go with the full language uh, labeled. And in order to finally allow your website to be translated in different languages, you'll want to go ahead and use the option here called Manage Menu. So let's go ahead and click on Manage Menu. A little toggle will appear. And then from here, you can click on Manage Menu or Add Language. So Whatever one you end up clicking on, it's going to end eventually uh, load up the language menu. From here, we want to go ahead and go under the multilingual overview at the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so once you add it, you'll notice multilingual overview, it'll appear right here. You can go ahead at the top right hand corner, click on add language, or right here, add a new language to your website. So let's go ahead and do that together. So, first thing we need to do is select the language uh, that represents your website. So for me, my language or my language uh, would be English, right? Let's just see where. Uh, choose a language and flag to represent it on your website. Yes, so I'm so sorry. Here we actually need to add the second language. So by default, Wix would have automatically told you, hey, which is the original language your website's in. Thus, you'll be introduced to this section. Thus, you'll be able to introduce your second uh, language. So in this case, why don't we select Spanish? And we can choose either Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, or any of the uh, Latin American countries. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and select uh, Mexico. And we're going to be able to have an option here that says make site in Spanish visible right away. So we can, if we enable this, um, automatically have the drop down show this. What I really like to do is provide these two options here, making sure that it's visible right away as a drop down and then having the website auto translate. So let's go ahead and click on add language. And once that gets added, you'll notice that it's now visible. Top right hand corner, if you click on the little X and hit on preview, you'll notice that you now have Espanol. So you'll notice as an example uh, at the very, very top here, it says, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to editor. I'm going to go preview. I'm going to go English and Espanol. You'll notice that the website itself will automatically translate that content that's on your homepage to that desired language. So you can go ahead back into your dashboard. And if you end up refreshing your dashboard for the very first time, at the bottom left hand corner, you'll always realize something called multilingual overview. So let's go ahead and click on multilingual overview. Here you can add as many languages as you like. And uh, if at any point you'd like to personally edit the translation manually, you can go ahead and click on the edit translation section. But as for me, because I have a blank canvas, I don't have any content. But in regards to your website, you would have English content and Spanish content on the right. Thus, you can do a cross-reference here and edit the content yourself. So it's really, really simple to be quite honest. 
uh, top left hand corner one more time, go to edit, and we can click on add language. From here, the third language um, could be, let's say French, and we can go ahead and go Canada French, make it visible right away, auto translate it, add it, and then once this happens, you'll notice that the language is now added. Thus, if we go back to our editor, go preview, you'll notice, well, in this case, we'll actually have to hit publish, give it a moment, refresh it, and then now it's gonna go ahead and add the third language. So within the editor and the little overview panel for the multilingual right here, you should be able to finally have something that is working for you. As you can see, Espanol, Francais, and English, and again, all done through the multilingual overview within the Wix dashboard. To get started with it, obviously all you have to do is go to search and type in language and that should be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It wasn't too, too difficult to get your multi-language website set up, uh, but some work will have to be done on the translation, okay? So it's a really good translator. However, it may need some uh, work and tweaking depending on your exact needs. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. This is how to create a multilingual website using Wix.com. Thanks guys.